Yo, what's going on people? It's your boy Ape Hancho back at you again with another video. And so I know a lot of people have been waiting for this moment, but today we found out that two 14 year old boys have now been found guilty of the murder of 13 year old Oliver Stevens. We've been over the timeline of events in the previous video, but today seeing as more material has came out from the trial, I thought we'd go over that and for you guys who missed it, I'll catch you guys up on what exactly went down. The previous video will have more in-depth details of the timeline, so feel free to go and check that one out because I'll just be going over it briefly. So in the weeks leading up to Oliver's murder, the boys on trial were said to have had an issue with him. They said that he snaked them. So they hatched a plan where they used a girl to set him up in order to meet them. The girl would go on to say that any violence against Oliver was karma in the run-up to his death. A lot of other comments were made also. I just wanted to clear something up as well before we continue because I know a lot of people were claiming that the girl wanted to set Oliver up because he had became angry she was sending nude pictures to people. And on top of this, people were also saying that some kind of contract was put out against Oliver's life by this girl. But from the trial, there isn't actually any evidence to support this theory, at least from what we know anyway. But for you guys who watched that last video, you'll know that when the girl lured Oliver to come and meet them at Bugs Bottom Fields in Emmett Green, you'll know she asked him specifically to wear sliders. Well, as you can see in new CCTV footage that's been released today, that's exactly what he did. This footage here on the 3rd of January 2021 is the last time Oliver Stevens was seen alive. When he reached the park 10 minutes later, it's believed that the two boys along with the girl and more people as part of a wider group would see Oliver and Oliver would proceed to walk up to them gesturing and shouting. A fight then breaks out, Oliver has the upper hand, he goes on to get stabbed by the two boys and unfortunately dies at around 5pm. But more new information that's recently came out today would be this video. This is a video of the younger boy playing around with knives, which we did speak about briefly, but for you guys who don't know, this was the source of controversy during the trial. You see, according to the prosecution, the video appeared to be on his phone on the 2nd of January 2021, the day before Oliver was murdered, whilst the boy went on to say that it was recorded in 2019. Also, when police searched his house after he was arrested, police also found a knife hidden in a shoebox in his room. It was presented to the jury in court, but they were told that there was, quote, no scientific evidence linking in the knife to the incident with Oliver Stevens. But it is believed that he did throw the murder weapon in the River Thames. But that's all the new updated information surrounding this case so far. Of course, it's only just came out over the past couple of hours, so we might have more information coming out as the days go on. I know a lot of you might be asking why names and mugshots haven't been released yet. Well, that's because all of the defendants are under the age of 18, so the judge will have to lift certain restrictions in order for names and mugshots to be released but drop a like on the video for more crime related content like this and make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't it's been me ape honcho and i'll see you in the next one